Hello everybody, this is Jean. Today I'm doing weeks 41 to 44 of Kylie Koo's Positivity Deck, part of the Gratitude State of Being, starting with the first card, which is Harvest. I'm starting with a pre gessoed card and stamping this tree. And then I've got a piece of, I think it's natural sponge, um, and I'm sponging this uh, green paint all over it to represent leaves. And I've got a little punch which punches out apples. So I've punched out a lot of red apples. And here I'm just gluing those onto the tree, uh, just using a glue stick. I um, watercoloured the sky and the ground, uh, blue and green respectively. Here I've got two little pieces of um, uh, like a textured material. I don't know what it's made of, but it looks like a basket weave. And I'm just making two little baskets. So here I'm just painting them brown, gluing those onto the card and then filling those up with apples, uh, with a few on the floor as well. And I have some very small stickers that I'm just using to write the word harvest. And that is my harvest card. I'm writing about how we reap what we sow. But in fact, sometimes we plant for the next generation, or the previous generation has planted for us, especially uh, with things like apples and pears. The next card is about seasons. And here I'm stamping with uh, Versamark, Versamark ink and um, embossing powder. In this case, um, a stamp of a butterfly, then a stamp of a sunflower, and then obviously heat setting each one, and then an, an autumn leaf. In each case I'm trying to stamp with an appropriate colour. I haven't got that many embossing powders, so um, I just have to do the best I can. can't see this one because I'm doing it with white, but you will see it when I do the next step. So they've all been heat set, and now I'm just painting with watercolour, again with appropriate colours for each season. So the blue is winter, the green is spring, and then the yellow is summer, And see in a moment orange for autumn. I've tried not to make them too regular and I've tried to blend the colours into each other a little bit. And then I think I wrote the word seasons with my little label machine right on the outside. And there's my card on seasons. The um, watercolour paint is a shimmer paint. I think it's artist loft. And so the whole card has got quite a lot of shine to it. I'm writing here about how the cycle of the seasons um, mirrors the cycles of our lives, our days, our years, our whole lives, and how the natural cycles of birth and death and then rebirth inspire me. Uh, this card is Flora and Fauna, and for this one I'm just um, using this black paper to cover the whole of the card. I already have an idea for this one because I've been playing a bit with my die cut machine, which I hardly ever use, um, and then discovered I had some quite nice flora and fauna type stamps. So here I'm using my little machine to make some die cuts. These are Tim Holtz uh, from the Tim Holtz Wildflower set, and I'm um, cutting them from a sort of creamy pearlized paper. 
I'm just sticking them down with a glue stick. And uh, this is a little, I think it's a reindeer. I think I probably got that free with a magazine at some point. Which is how I got most of my die cuts. And then a little butterfly. I think I'll move to that later. And then I just, again, I use my label making machine to write the words flora and fauna. And that's my very simple card. I find it easy to be positive about flora and fauna because I love all sorts of plants and animals and insects. And I often think when I see them in my garden, um, you know, they think that that's their space. And it is. It's their space as much as mine when we live alongside each other. And I like that. And then here's my rainbow card. I am um, just at the whole of the page. And then this is a, again, it was a freebie stamp, free with a magazine. Uh, it was all a whole set of stamps about weather. And one of the stamps had this um, umbrella that was already split into stripes that could be the colours of the rainbow. And then this was a, a saying which, I can't remember what it actually says, but it has the word rainbow. There was, and now I'm colouring in the umbrella with the colours of the rainbow. Again, I'm using artist love paint, but not the shimmer ones this time. When I'd finished painting this, I decided um, it was a bit too plain, and so I decided to put a rainbow background on it as well. Again, with the same watercolors. Now, although I used archival ink, it, I must have dried it properly. It did start to smear a little bit here, but I'm happy with that. It's, it's okay. Then I went round the outside with a series of black dots just to finish it off. I think I'm using a, a fine a fine tipped sharpie. And that's my rainbow card and I didn't have a lot to write about this because really who can not be positive about a rainbow? Um, it is one of those things that always makes you feel better. It's, it doesn't last very long. It's not really there. And yet, it's a really positive thing. So, that's my cards 41 to 44. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make those cards. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Click the little bell icon if you want notifications of future videos. And I'll see you with the next set of cards very soon. Bye.